Welcome back to Jacob B. Rising. Today's video is going to be different. Uh, this is a life video. These life videos are uh, just a way for me to kind of help people out there. They're not just about fitness or health or about other real world things as well. Um, you can see the corner of this Cora. <laughs> uh, so today's video is going to be a very realistic one. Um, today I'm going to talk about dealing with death. Uh, and this might help someone out there that is going through what I went through, is about to go through what I went through, or has been dealing with what I've been dealing with. Um, so on July 12th, 2016, my dad passed away from stage four prostate cancer and it's been over seven months since he's been gone and it's crazy how how long it's been and I know seven months may not seem like it's been a long time but it's it's weird living without someone that you've known I'm, I'm 23 when he passed away I was about to turn 23 so I knew him for 22 years and it was just, it, it, it's weird because life keeps moving. It doesn't stop. It just keeps going. And the way that I've been dealing with that is I don't think about it. And, and that sounds really weird. And it's kind of morbid because... You know, if I think about my dad for an extens extensive period of time, I'll cry. And there's nothing wrong with crying. You know, I, I, I was grown up in a way where, like, men don't cry. It's a sign of weakness. And I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Pardon my words. I met a really cool person who's a, who's a psychologist. And they told me that crying is cleansing of your body, getting all those emotions out. And I, I really think that's true because, you know, it's like if you're angry or if you're upset or if you're pissed off and you're venting, you're getting those emotions out. So crying is the same thing. You're getting those emotions out. Life goes on. You can't go back and you, and you have to deal with it. And I wasn't, I don't think I was ready when he passed away. But the thing that kind of made it easier was I had to deal with it. Like I, I, like I, I had no choice. I had to deal with it. He's gone. You know, I have to deal with it. That's, that's how reality is. I, I can't pretend he's alive. I think that's even worse. Um, but I don't think about him. And... It's weird because when you were with someone for, in my case, 22 years, even if I don't remember being younger with him, say at least 10 years, that's still a long time. But the way that I, the way that I coped through it, like when it was fresh, like a week ago or a couple of days ago or a month ago, I didn't even think about him at all. And I thought that would be hard to, to shut off thoughts. And I know it's different for everybody. Um, but in my experience, I, my body just subconsciously, my mind just subconsciously shut off. And I did not think about my dad at all. I just did my life and I just did everything I could to keep busy. I went to the gym. I, I went to hang out with friends. I did everything I could to be occupied so I was not thinking about him. I don't forget about him. I just don't think about him. And that's just how I've been able to cope with this. And the one regret that I have is um, I wasn't really a, a good student. I mean, now I'm getting a lot better, but the one regret I have is not graduating for him to see me graduate. Um, that was one thing I, I really tried before he passed away. I really wanted to show him that I could do this. 
And as you can see, you know, even seven months later, it doesn't really get easier. And it's always going to be like this. And I don't really like to cry. I'm not, like I said, crying is not bad, but I don't like being sad. I want to be happy. I want to be positive and optimistic. <laughs> but sometimes you can't. And it's good to get this out. And I never realized how good he was and how valuable he really was until he passed away. Because now, Every time I mention my dad to one of my friends or I mention he's gone, I always say, oh yeah, my dad can make anything. He was so skilled at his talents. And now that he's gone, when I see like his creations he made back in the past, or his, all of his cars and stuff, I really grown to appreciate who he was as a person. And I guess another regret that I have is not, not only not graduating so he can see me graduate, but I really wish I appreciated him more. And I, I, I always did, but I, 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 I wish I was more open about it. If you have a loved one out there that's still alive, appreciate the hell out of them. <laughs> and uh, just spend time with them, you know, love them, cherish them, because one day there's gonna come a time when they're gone. And once they're gone, it's over. You have no second chances. I'll never see my dad ever again. He's gone forever. And that's really weird to say. And it's, it's just weird to live in a world like that. But yeah, so what I've been doing to cope with his death is I just don't think about it. I just don't think about it. And it sounds harder than it is, but subconsciously, I just do it. And I think when you go through this experience someday, you'll understand what I mean. So let me know if this video was helpful in any way. Um, I know this is a very heavy topic, but I want to talk more about stuff like this. Life is everything. It's depressing topics, it's healthy topics, it's everything. It's both light and dark, black and white. So I do want to be a bit more open with my channel. Um, and I don't know, hopefully this helped someone or hopefully it did something. So let me know if, if you're going through my situation or if you're going to go through my situation time goes on and you do heal but you never forget you never forget and that might sound painful but that's life and if that's a cop out of an answer well that's just reality so my name is james of jkp rising thank you so much for watching let me know if this video was helpful or if it just did anything. And if you like these type of videos, I also do happier topics like video game topics like Halo, Dead Space, Bioshock. I want to do health and fitness stuff, but I will be talking about other ways. I mean, I, I, I will be talking about other things on this channel like this. So, yeah. Sorry if this bummed you out, but stay positive, have a great day, and yeah, I'll see you next time.